What's going on guys? Ramsland the man here with another update. A new vehicle has been added to the fleet. You see there. You guys can just kind of guess just from that what it is. That GSL might give you a hint. Front facing hood might give you a hint. The pop-up lights. 1983 Mazda RX-7 GSL. Just picked this up a couple days ago for a steal. I mean a steal. A steal of the century. 12A. Uh, see the paint? Not looking too bad on there. Yeah, got this a couple days ago. Um, it had no compression. And what I did was... Uh, for the span of like three or four days, I just poured some transmission fluid at the top of the carb And then inside the spark plug tubes or um, inside the spark plug holes and then just crank the motor Let it sit did it again. Let it sit did it again. Like I said for a couple of days two three days and uh, Went to go start it up and it started up. So this is now the third day of actually like starting it up Second or third day of actually it running. So now it starts up every day. Whether if it's hot or cold, doesn't matter. The car could be completely cold. It starts up just fine. No issues. So I'm safe to say, I think it's safe to say that I brought it back to life. I'm good on that. Um, so the first step, or the first thing I'm going to do here for this car, um, I'm going to rebuild the carb. Because it sounds, I'm gonna see if I can try to start it up here. Hold on a second. Yeah, there's the, the finding out new things about this car, and I guess I don't know if it's just because the carb is so dirty because it sat for 15 years, or if it just might be um, something or other. I don't know, but it it's only stays running after like a while of running. So neutral. Crank it. Oh wait. Probably this carb or uh truck needs to be open. Like that. Huh. When well, I was not trying to start at all. What happened now? Could be gas. There wasn't a lot of gas in there. I got it. Excuse me, hands. I was just uh, just finished uh, doing a job here, so I didn't get a chance to like really like you know clean up and all that. But um, yeah, this is the radio the guy put in. As you see, it's like some old school. I mean, cassette player. Everything works. Heat. Everything. AC. I don't know if the AC works yet, but it's kind of hot to tell. But I'll turn that off. This um, has a certain, a certain uh, aroma to it. But yes, this is it. Um, the first thing I want to do, I want to clean out the carb. I'm gonna clean out the carburetor, rebuild it. I got a new gasket set, new seals, everything like that from the parts store. Anyway, um, yeah. So I wanna, I wanna do that, clean that out, 
I got a new um, fuel filter that's in the mail. Um, that's going to be coming here in the next couple of days. Uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys, you know, the next project. Hopefully this one won't take as long as Pacific over there, peeking behind it. So the next video you guys will see of this, I will be um, doing the carb. At the next video after that, I'll probably be trying to clean up the engine bay so it doesn't have all this, you know, random stuff in it. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to cut this video short here. Like I said, this is just the next vehicle in the fleet. Uh, Nefertiti is her name. Nefra for short. I like that name, so that's her name now. So, all right, guys, I'm out of here. Like I said, stay tuned for the next video, and we're going to see exactly how easy or how difficult this carb is. Hopefully, it's on the easier side. So, all right, guys, you guys take it easy. Stay tuned.